That work that police continue to do is certainly having a positive impact on the communities. We are seeing that both murders and shooting incidents are down by double digits this year compared to last so far. However, there is still some work to be done. As you can see from this video, it illustrates the brazen nature of many gun crimes, like this security footage from far Rockaway we just got from police. Sources tell us 20 rounds were fired near a crowd relaxing outside the Redfern houses on Monday evening, killing a 24-year-old man. In an announcement last night, police told us Three-day dragnet just this past weekend rounded up 57 people and 46 illegal guns were taken off city streets. Nearly half of them were from the Bronx. It's a harsh reminder of the staggering proliferation of guns that are flooding in our city. If we continue to talk to our children and let them know you are killing each other, the police is not killing us, we killing us. You can see from the NYPD's latest numbers that shootings and murders are both down so far this year by 11 percent. However, total crime across the city is up in a big way, driven in large part by robberies and assaults. The city also continues to arrest repeat offenders. This is a problem that both the mayor and NYPD continue to drive home. Specifically, they blame it on bail reform. Just this past weekend in this roundup, they say they arrested a man for a busted taillight, and when they checked his name, they found 11 prior arrests. Three of them were for gun crimes, so he continues to be locked up for gun offenses here in the city, they say. At the latest, live in Lower Manhattan, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.